Hey guys, I'm the Thoughtful Beast, and I speak from the point of view of someone living with mental illness who constantly works on their mental health. Today we are going to talk about how to keep from being lonely with the internet when you're stuck at home, because a lot of us are stuck at home. So the first thing that you can do is really take advantage of all the communication you can have. So there's Discord, there's Skype, there's Zoom, there's all these things that you could use. There's Facebook Messenger. <laughs> there are all these different platforms that you can use to communicate with other people and you should be. You should be doing that. It's really easy for people to get stir crazy um, when you're alone all the time, even me, like, I really like my alone time. I'm an introvert, um, but I feel, I feel like I'm getting trapped a little bit, to be honest. And so I really wanna take advantage of the fact that I can communicate with other people. And even if I don't wanna do it in my room right here, I can do it outside, like on my patio, on my phone, with Facebook Messenger and stuff, or again, other platforms. So really try that out. You know, contact people that you haven't talked to in a while. A lot of us have nothing to do right now um, or a limited number of things to do. The next thing that you can try is for people who don't necessarily want to be on a one on one conversation or they just want to be there for the conversation and not necessarily participate. So if you haven't heard of Twitch, it's this streaming service where people stream what they're doing. It started out for video games, but there are a lot of people doing a lot of different things, whether it's mental health stuff. I used to stream on it. Um, yoga, working out talking about movies. There's a lot of different things that you can try. And so what's great is that you'll be in a chat room and you can participate if you want. And that way you kind of get some like live connection, uh, but you don't have to say anything. <laughs> So there are a lot of memes and jokes about how the nerds will be fine because this is what they do anyways. They just stay in their rooms and play video games. And I suggest you try this. Online gaming is a great way to actually stay in touch with people. And you don't have to play things like Overwatch or Fortnite. You don't have to like those kind of games. Those are not the kind of games I like to play. I like things like Minecraft where it's really easy peasy. It's not really competitive. Well, it's just not competitive unless you make it competitive. Um, and again, you can hook on and talk to your friends with Discord or you can just type. You can communicate um, that way in the game. And it's really fun and it feels, you know, you get to actually interact with other people. I hope if anything, this kind of shows how online gaming can actually be a real community. Yeah, there are jerks out there, but I mean, they're jerks in real life. Um, but online gaming makes people a lot less lonely. They might seem lonely to you from the outside if you don't know what it is, but they're fine. So the next thing I want to talk about are forums and Facebook groups. So when I mean forums, I mean things like Reddit, where there's a lot of different communities for a lot of different interests. The same is true for Facebook groups. Uh, and Facebook groups takes out the anonymity because, you know, you have your name and your profile there. I guess you could really make yourself anonymous, but it kind of usually feels a little, not nicer. It's just a different place because it involves your Facebook account. And since most people are on Facebook anyways, it's something to give a try. Honestly, there are a lot of people out there in different communities that are really active. Same goes for Reddit though. So those are definitely things you should also try, especially if you don't like talking or Skyping and you prefer more typing. The next thing I want to talk about is Netflix and chillin' because most of us are doing this anyways, whether it's with Netflix or Hulu or Amazon, whatever. Um, but I wanna say be mindful about what you binge, especially if you get stressed out easy, then maybe it's not time to like watch The Walking Dead and post-apocalypse things. Um, there are lots of cool, <laughs> um, you know, there are lots of like happier, more inspiring things out there. Um, Adventure Time, I love one of my favorite cartoons. There's Steven Universe that I heard is really good, but I haven't watched it. You can watch things like Grace and Frankie, which is pretty uplifting. Um, also, if Ugly Betty is somewhere, I really love Ugly Betty. <laughs> um, there are things like Star Trek, that's really cool. Star Trek, Voyager, and Next Generation, they always make me happy. Um, yeah, just be really mindful about what you are putting in your mind, especially if you might be stuck at home for a while. 
The last thing I want to talk about isn't necessarily connected to the internet, though you could technically get to know yourself um, through the internet, through lots of quizzes, like personality tests and all that stuff. And those things can be super fun. And I'm not saying don't do them, but also you might want to take your time to focus on your relationship with yourself. Because honestly, it's really easy to feel lonely when you don't like who you are. And so I want to put that out there that, hey, maybe take this time when you're stuck at home to, you know, like journal. It's easier for the loneliness to go away if you are chill with yourself. And I think that's all I have to say today. So until next time, stay healthy physically and mentally and create some happiness in your life. Whether that means that you're going to do like 100 jumping jacks right now to get your blood going or whether that means you're going to find a new series to watch like The Next Generation because you've never watched it yet. I've watched it, but I just want you to watch it. Okay, peace out. Bye.